Hello everyone, my name is Demon Battler, and this is a quick little announcement about something I'm going to be involved in starting tonight. This is the Super Mario Bros. 3 Randomizer Tournament. So for those of you who are unaware, there is a creator by the name of Fred Coughlin. He is actually the person that has created two programs that are very well known in the randomizer community. One is the Zelda Randomizer, which basically creates randomized versions of The Legend of Zelda, and the Super Mario Bros. 3 Randomizer, which is what we're going to be using for this tournament. The link for that is going to be down in the description, as well as the link to Fred's Twitch channel, so definitely give him a follow. He's actually a pretty good player of both Zelda and Mario, and the stuff he creates is interesting and just insane. But. To give a brief rundown of what this tournament's about, basically there's going to be a group of competitors that are going to play the game Super Mario Bros. 3 with the randomizer active, which is going to create basically randomized games where different things are changed and it's going to be a bit different than what you're used to seeing in the normal game. For example, the enemies in the, in the stages are going to be randomized to an extent, so Wherever you might see, like, say, the first Goomba in 1-1, you will probably see something else. Like, maybe you'll see a Koopa Troopa instead, or you'll see a Boss Bass show up instead. That's basically the kind of thing we're going to have. The enemies are going to be shuffled around, the stages themselves are going to be shuffled around and replaced with question mark squares. The reason is because there are actually a group of stages at the end of World 8 that normally can pull you into the stage and waste time, and that's a little bit of RNG that we'd rather not deal with, so those are going to be essentially removed, so that way everything is completely randomized, and we don't have to worry about that extra little RNG. On top of that, items for the most part are going to be randomized. So you might hit a regular power-up block somewhere that might usually give you a mushroom or a fire flower if you're big. Instead, it might give you a star, or it might give you a super leaf instead, kind of thing. Um, there are a couple of stages where the items won't be randomized, simply because that allows them to get finished correctly. But for the most part, they're going to be shifted around, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And warp whistles have been removed from the game, so that way we can't try to cheat with those. Now, these matches are going to be held up. We're going to be playing rounds of Swiss. Basically, each player is paired up with another player. They're going to play through two games against each other. Um, and then based on those standings, at the end of it, there's going to be a tournament, essentially a bracket tournament, to finish that off. And these are going to be held on the Speed Gaming set of channels on Twitch. You can find them at speed game, at twitch.com slash, or Twitch TV rather, uh, Twitch TV slash Speed Gaming 1 through 6. I will have the description, or I'll have the links of those down in the description as well. And honestly, it's just really interesting to see how this is going to pan out. There's also going to be a link I'll set down for the list of coming matches that you might want to see in the future if you want to check those out. They'll also show the times in Eastern Time, so that way you know when to show up and which channel to check out. Now, this is the group of competitors here. Basically, these are the 28 comp players that are going to be involved in the tournament. And I will say, definitely give a follow to everyone here. A lot of these players are really well handled in terms of the randomizer. A lot of these players are also very high level Mario 3 runners in general. So definitely want to check them out, watch their content. They're definitely a lot of fun to see. And honestly, this is one of those things where even as a randomizer, yes, higher level players do tend to have a bit of an advantage, but at the same time, the randomizer itself gives a little bit of quirkiness to it to where someone who might be a world record holder might not necessarily win every time against someone else. And honestly, it gives it a bit of excitement, more so than normal races. Now, the first match that is currently scheduled is set to be Midigai DP versus Night Shifter. This is set to, uh, set to take place tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Speed Gaming 1. So, like I said, I'm gonna have a link to that channel down in the description. So if you wanna check it out, make sure you check it out at that time. 
there's going to be someone there to commentate the match and help give a bit of a description of what's going on. And there should also be links or commands available in the Twitch chat uh, while the race is going on, and you can get more information that way. So, with that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys in the chat at the tournament. Have a great one, and may Boss Bass go hungry.